Welcome to the Fantastic Fishing Show. Today we're going to show you how to do a fiberglass repair on a boat. I'm going to be doing this repair on a small rib, but the principle applies to all fiberglass boats. So the first thing we're going to do is clean up the damage. So let's have a look at that. So as you can see here, I've got a chip on the corner. There's been a previous repair, but I don't think they laminated in glass. I'm wondering if they just painted straight on with gel coat and that's why it's chipped again. It looks like it's been done a few times another small mark up on this side as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean it up. So I'm going to rub it down with the sandpaper. I need to get down to bare glass. So I'm going to be here a while just rubbing this down. You can do this with power tools but I don't like to go too far and have to repair the damage so I'm going to just take my time and do it by hand. <coughs> Welcome to the Fantastic Fishing Show. Today we're going to show you how to do a fiberglass repair on a boat. I'm going to be doing this repair on a small rib, but the principle applies to all fiberglass boats. So the first thing we're going to do is clean up the damage. So let's have a look at that. So as you can see here, I've got a chip on the corner. There's been a previous repair, but I don't think they laminated in glass. I'm wondering if they just painted straight on with gel coat and that's why it's chipped again. It looks like it's been done a few times another small mark up on this side as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean it up. So I'm going to rub it down with the sandpaper. I need to get down to bare glass. So I'm going to be here a while just rubbing this down. You can do this with power tools but I don't like to go too far and have to repair the damage so I'm going to just take my time and do it by hand. <coughs> Now that you've prepared your fiberglass area for the repair, let's talk about what you're going to need to actually repair it. Now you're obviously going to need some fiberglass resin, some fiberglass fly coat and some fiberglass mat. But let's show you the bits and make sure you've got everything ready. So here we've got, this is the resin, so this is what goes on first, this is like your layup coat, so this is like your undercoat, this goes on first. This is called top coat. And this goes on obviously on the top. Now what you're also going to need is this stuff. This is called hardener or catalyst. Now you mix this with the resin or the top coat, uh, depending on which level you get. You want to follow the instructions. I won't give you the instructions for these because every brand you buy will be slightly different. So just follow the instructions on the tub for mixing it. A little pot to mix it in and an old brush. You don't mind chucking away because it will get ruined. I use a syringe for mixing my um, hardener or my catalyst so that I know exactly how much I'm putting in. I've already cut up my small pieces of fiberglass that I'm going to put because I want everything ready. Because once you get going, it's all sort of, it's all go. So I'm not going to show you how to mix this because I don't want to mislead you because you may buy a different brand with different mix mixing instructions. So I'm going to mix this up and then we're going to get on to, to applying it to the hole. So I've mixed up my resin. So the first thing I do is I'm just going to paint a bit of resin onto the damaged area like this. Oops. <laughs> Try not to make a mess like that. I'm going to clear that up afterwards. So we paint this on and then we apply a piece of fiberglass, just like so. And then I'm going to dab that in. Now I may have put a little bit too much resin on here, I'm not sure. Too much will get going. That's it. Completely saturate the glass so that it's completely saturated with resin. And I'm going to have to put another small piece on this far corner, like this. Now you should probably wear gloves for this, but I've been doing this for quite a few years, I'm sort of able to not get it on my fingers really, but I do recommend that you do wear gloves when you're doing this, especially if you've never done it before. Let's get this little bit up the top here. Now it's only a small amount of glass I'm applying here because it's only a small, it's not like a, a hole that goes right through. This is just a chip that we're replace, repairing here. Okay, so we've got 
we've got one layer of glass on, two layers on the actual chipped corner, and we've gone on with the fiberglass resin. Now we're just going to go on very delicately, try not to disturb the tissue too much with our flow coat or a top coat or a gel coat, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm doing this with the resin still not set because I want this to bond with it a bit. Once you finish applying all of your gel coat, just give it rubbed down with some fine ground paper. 